So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best dropshipping niches in 2019, the most profitable niches that you can get involved in today, which can make you the most money and the most profit margins for a long period of time for the next three to five years, even 10 years. So the key to, to dropshipping is, and this is the method that I use, I did go for a niche store when I first started and it was the store that made me the most money. Now, the key to niche stores are, is you wanna turn it into a dropshipping store into then a proper e-commerce brand like Gymshark. So Gymshark started as a dropshipping store and then they eventually turned it into a private company and a private label company after they made enough money to reinvest into doing that. Now the company's valued at, I think, 10 million pounds. So if he wanted to, he could sell the company for 10 million pounds. Now that's the perk of having a niche store. You can build it and grow it. And then eventually, if you really want to, you can sell it for a lot of money. Or if you want, you're just gonna be making lots in revenue and profit. So that's the key to drop shipping. And that's why I love niche uh, drop shipping. And that's why it's my favorite. Um, store if that makes sense over one product stores and general stores so let's get straight into the content guys but before i do get into the content if we've not met before my name is Kimo Sata. i'm an e-commerce entrepreneur i've been doing e-commerce now for four years and i've been doing it full time for three years <laughs> Now, let me, so for, again, for people that don't know what an example of a general niche store is, I'm gonna make sure that you guys understand it because like I said, I don't want you guys to go throughout this, um, throughout this training and not know what a general niche store is for those that are beginners. So for example, I'm gonna be using fitness as the category and then next to fitness, you've got male fitness. Inside of male fitness, you've got things like weight loss. You've got sport exercises like basketball. You've got bodybuilding. So you could sell products throughout any of these things. So if you find products that are related to any of these things that I've just listed here on the left-hand side or might be your right-hand side, um, you can see you can sell products with them. So for example, bodybuilding, you could sell like weights. Um, on your store or something to do with bodybuilding. Um, weight loss, you could sell something to do with weight loss. So if it's like a machine they can stand on and it wobbles, like these wobble machines, you could do those. Sport exercises, so basketball, you could sell products to do with basketball. So you could do like, you could sell basketballs, you could sell print on demand basketball t-shirts. Example on the right is female fitness. You got yoga, so you could sell yoga mats. You could sell yoga leggings. You could sell things like weight loss again. You could sell things like running. So you could sell sports shoes or whatever. So this is just an example guys of a general niche store. So it's selling anything to do with any of these things. So if you were to do it, for example, if your other one was um, electronics or smart devices, you could do iPads, smartphones, you could do like wrist, like watches and stuff like that. But this is just an example, guys, for people that don't understand what a general niche store is. So the best niches in 2019. So these are my top picks for the most profitable and the most successful niches that you guys can get involved in. And I will be leaving a PDF in the e-commerce for Kings group so you can access this but not just access this is what you can see on the screen, but you're also gonna be able to access 50 passion niches. And I'll discuss what a passion niche is on the next slide, guys. But you'll be able to access all this in the e-commerce for kings file section. So the first thing is the health and beauty niche, the gaming niche, the gadget niche, the fitness and meditation niche, the electronic niche, the technology niche, the kids niche, the toys niche, the women's clothing niche, the jewelry niche, and the home and garden niche. So these are some of the um, niches that are the most profitable that I found. And like I said, I've used two of these on the screen and that's what's made me the most money in my e-commerce journey. So like I said, guys, you're more than happy to use these niches for yourself. <clears throat> Now, I do something called a pre-game plan before I even start a niche. So these are certain things that I would recommend you do before you even start a niche or you look into getting involved in a niche. So the first thing is make sure there is enough products inside that niche because if you're starting a niche where there's only a limited amount of products and there won't really be any more products being made, then you're really restricted and it goes back to that limitation. You're gonna be limited to making a certain amount of money. So like I said, I've also put here, if there's a demand for that niche, you won't have this problem. So if there's a massive demand for the niche, so for example, the weight loss niche, there's a huge demand for it. You're never gonna run out of products that you could sell. So the next one is choose a passion niche or a problem solving niche for best results. So if you wanna get the best results, the fastest results in your niche door, pick a niche that people are passionate about. It doesn't need to be something that you're passionate about, but it needs to be something that people are passionate about. So for example, uh, a business partner of mine started a niche in the unicorn niche now. You're probably gonna laugh, but I laugh when he said it, but when I did my research, it was a good niche now. Why is the unicorn niche a good niche? Because one, people are passionate about unicorns. Now, I can't talk rubbish about people. People have their own interests, their own hobbies, but 
you've got these people that love unicorns and whatnot. So that's something to do with the customers being passionate about it. Then there's a problem solve. I've also listed here that it needs to be something that's a problem solving niche for the best results. Now the problems, the big problem in the unicorn niche was the unicorn fans couldn't get a um, merchandise like towels with unicorns on it or bedding with unicorns on it. So that my business partner made print on demand, unicorn bedding, towels, t-shirts, clothing, and he made an absolute killing from it. So if you can pick a niche that have the passion and the problem solving, you're gonna make a lot of money very fast, but it can just have one of those things if, if, you, if need be. But like I said, if it has both, you're gonna make a lot more money. Now, use market forecast tools like Statista, uh, or Google articles now. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean now because you're probably thinking what are you on about Camille? So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when I say use market forecast forecast tools So this is an example of a market forecast tool guys now why the reason why I use a market forecast tool is because I don't want to get involved in a niche that I might think will dramatically decrease in market value in the next year, two years. And like I said at the start of the video, you want to be in a niche that's going to last at least three to five years. So again, by looking at the market forecast, you're going to know if, if it's going to be a good market to get involved in for the next three to five years. And it's also going to tell you how much it's going to make in revenue. So for example, I've typed in fitness in the Google search bar here. I've typed in fitness market forecast. Now this is a website that I use a lot for my, uh, for my businesses. It's called Statista. If I'm saying that wrong guys, you know what I mean? I'm rubbish at reading. So this is the one that I recommend. Now I'm going to click on this link. And as you can see here, it's going to tell me anything to do with the fitness niche when I scroll down. So you can see here, we're currently in 2018 and the market is valued at this amount here. This is the amount of revenue it's made in the US. Now, this is only giving me the US market value, I believe. Let me just double check. Um, dun, 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 dun. I'm not too sure. I need to read it a little bit more in depth, but I'm sure this is only the US market value. Now, in my opinion, guys, you're probably off better off looking for market forecasts that are the whole global section because I think this is just a breakdown of the US. But the US is a good breakdown anyway because the US is one of the biggest um, buying countries. So as you can see here, it's telling me in 2019 what we're currently at and what the projections are going to be for the next one, two, three, four years. So you can see here, it's gonna incline over the next few years in market value, which is, guess what, a good sign. So this is a good sign for me to say, look, I wanna get involved in um, in the, sorry, I wanna get involved in the fitness niche. And as you can see here, they categorize it from, so what the blue means is app, so software is gonna be, um, so is going to be the minimum of the majority and again wearables is what's going to carry the market forecast the majority so it means so for example if you're doing a drop shipping store you're not going to be making apps or software so you don't need to worry about this but for wearables it's going to be the majority guys so like i said this is really really important guys and like i said if you can i would recommend you find a, a global version of this instead of just a uk us market forecast but if you can only find the us market forecast that's fine, like I said, because the US is one of the biggest buying countries. But if you want to know how to find market um, forecast, literally all you got to do, guys, is Google the, the niche and then type in market market forecast after. And then you just scroll and you'll find loads of different statistics. So you can see here, this one is the UK. So this is the UK market statistics instead of the US one. But like I said, guys, just Google it and you'll get loads of different articles, um, loads of different websites giving you the forecast. But the one that I recommend is this one. Now, if you do want the whole of the global statistics, you will have to, uh, Statista, there's a paid version of it, which will give you the global um, the global uh, revenue forecast, but it is paid. But for the free one, guys, it is a little bit limited. But like I said, if you do dig on Google, you might find one for free that gives you the whole, pardon me, the whole breakdown. So that's what I mean by market forecast, guys. And like I said, nobody else is talking about this, but this is so, so important that you make sure that you do this for your dropshipping business before picking your niche. You want to use is you want to use Google Trends to help identify if a market's stable or not stable. Now, I'll talk a little bit about what stabilization market is about. So let's dive straight into Google Trends so I can explain what I'm talking about. So guys, you can see I'm on Google Trends now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in fitness. Excuse my spelling. My spelling is just as bad as my reading. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to go to this. You want to change it to worldwide. And as you can see here, the market is quite stable. Now, probably people are thinking, oh, Cam, why is the market so stable? That must mean there's no money to be made. Now, that's not correct. If the Now, people... A lot of people use Google Trends for finding winning products to see if it's if there's a lot of interest. Now, 
when you're looking at a niche to be involved in, it's good to see stabilization because at the end of the day, it means that market's not unstable, which means at any time it could it could fail or the revenue that could be made is going to decrease and you might, you might go out of business. It means it's stable and it's going to consistently make money over time. And as you can see, it might have now and again a time where it will just sp uh, sprout up and you'll make a lot more money and whatnot, like times at Christmas and stuff like that, birthdays and whatnot. So as you can see there, there's a little bit of a... Um, incline but that's a good sign guys you want to look for stabilization if you see anything that's going up and down up and down that just means it's not stable it could fail at any time which i wouldn't recommend and you can see here you want you can see where it says 75 50 and 25 as long as it's above in my opinion if as long as it's near uh, if as long as it's between 25 and 50 and it's a stable line that's a really good sign guys and that's a metric to look for so that's the google trends metric guys so the next thing that you guys want to do is you're going to want to use Google Keywords Everywhere tool for Google search volume. Now, let me show you what I mean by this, guys. Now, this is really important as well. So we're on Google, and like I said, this is a key um, metric that I look for, and it's really important. As you can see, I've got my Google uh, Chrome open here. So what I'm going to type in is I'm going to type in fitness, and I'm just going to search for it. And because I've downloaded a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere, and I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description in the resources section, which I leave on every single video, um, where you can download this Chrome extension for free. Now, what it will do for me is instead of having to go into Google Ads and look for and do keyword and um, volume search on there, it will automatically display it on my search bar. So when I type in fitness, it's going to tell me the search volume, it's going to tell me the cost per click, and it's going to tell me the competition level. So this is also really good if you're doing Google Ads, and I will be making a Google Ads tutorial video very soon for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. So as you can see here, 1.5 million people search for fitness, which is absolutely huge. So it means that the market, there's a lot of people looking for things to do with fitness. So it's a really, really good sign, guys. Now, other things that you could do is, for example, if you're going to do fitness, you could do um, niches within fitness. So the examples that I gave you were um, yoga. So you could do yoga and you can see there there's 1.8 million um, search volume for that or you could do for example yoga mats because you, that might be something that you sell within that niche you can see there's 200,000 monthly search volume which means there's people that are after it it just means that people are looking for it within with intent which means they're looking to buy it so if you can do a google ad or you can do a, um, a facebook ad you know there's people there that you can sell to so that's an ama amazing tool that i use guys to help me figure out if a niche or within it or within that niche there's money to be made so the next thing that i do guys is i use something called aliexpress dropshipping center to find uh, to find potential select in, in that niche. So that selected niche that you picked, find potential winners for that niche. Now, I've mentioned this in my old videos, but I'll also mention it again for you guys so you guys can understand what the dropshipping center does. So you guys can see I'm in my AliExpress account and I'm in my dropshipping center now. A lot of people might not have dropshipping center because it was a special feature that you had to accept or decline. Now, I remember a lot of people declined it because they didn't know what it was. Now, if you want the dropshipping center, there will be a link in the description below in the resources section so you can download this into your AliExpress. You just click the link and it'll automatically turn into a dropshipping center now the key to the drop the dropshipping center means these products are designed for dropshipping basically now again what you're going to want to do is you can see here product category so you just want to change a product category to whatever you've chosen so if you've chose fitness change this category to fitness so it should be here somewhere so you can see uh, sports and entertainment you would pick something to do with what you're doing so if i was to do water sports i can pick anything to do with water sports so what you're going to do is you're going to look through this um so you're going to look through the category that you've picked and look for products that are going to be potential winners. And I'll leave in the cards somewhere, either on the left side or on the right side, uh, one of my videos that I made on how to find winning products so you can use the strategies that I gave you in that video so you can use it for your niche store as well. So guys, like I said, it will be in the cards somewhere so you can use it, but I recommend you use AliExpress Dropshipping Center to find potential products for your category. And like I said, there will be a video in the cards so you guys can do the product and um, how to find winning products. So the niche game plan 101 now, we're gonna start kicking it off now with an actual game plan guys now the first thing that you need to do is you need to pick a shopify theme now again if you can't afford a paid theme which i really do recommend a paid theme now the reason why i recommend recommend a paid theme is because you won't look like a typical dropshipping store you'll come across as a legitimate big brand so you don't have to be a big brand for people to think you're a big brand as long as you look to look like the part you'll be betrayed as the part so what I mean is invest into a paid theme and I will leave a link in the description below and I'll also be showing you 
the website that I use to get my paid themes from and the website that I've that I've um, given my students to use to get their paid themes from. Now the reason why I recommend the one that I'm going to give you is because you can get websites for as low as $39 and they look absolutely amazing and they're so well integrated with Shopify guys. So I'll get on to that in a minute but the reason why I recommend them is like I said you are going to be retrieved as a big brand and you don't need to be a big brand or what not to be retrieved as a big brand as long as you look like the part you'll be treated like the part and if you can't afford a paid theme but you want to know the best three themes for your store i will leave a link in the description below on the top four best three themes that you can use in your dropshipping store if you can't afford a paid theme guys so let me show you the software and the website i use to get my paid themes from so as you can see guys, I'm on the website that I use to get my paid themes and like I said, the example I've been using all video is fitness as my niche. So as you can see, I've typed in fitness and it's pulled up this 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 website that I can potentially use for my store and it's only going to cost me $39 guys. It is so cheap, $39 I'm going to get a professional looking, beautiful, stunning website and like I said, there are going to be more on here that are going to be a little bit more expensive and like I said, you can go for the more expensive ones, they are going to look a little bit better but again, some of the cheaper ones have looked even better than the paid ones the more expensive ones guys now don't get me wrong this isn't the best website if you're looking for the most premium as themes this website is basically more designed for people that are on a little bit more of a budget but like i said they still look beautiful they still look amazing i've used them for my store and i've had great success guys so i recommend this store so i recommend this website to get your um, shopify themes from and like i said i will leave a link in the description below so you guys can check this out and you can guys can get your themes from the next thing is shopify ip address guys now shopify ip address is what is is basically a database where they they store all the Shopify stores in the world. Now you can change it from, you can change the record so it shows a certain store or certain stores. So you can change it to um, all records and you can, you can search for example, fitness in the record and it will pull up all the fitness stores. So you guys can see the most successful stores that are doing fitness or fitness products. Now, Again, it's important because if those stores are ranking in the top 10 or the top 50, it means they're doing something right. They're selling a lot of products. They're making a lot of money. So what I recommend you do is you go onto the Shopify IP address. You type in the niche that you're looking for into the database. It will pull up all the stores. But don't get me wrong, guys. It will pull up a lot of just normal um, e-commerce stores, not drop shipping stores. But what I do recommend you guys do is... I recommend you go through the different um, lists of stores and you look for the ones that are dropshipping stores and you check out how to obviously, um, you obviously spy in their store, look at the ones that are doing well and you, just, you steal them from their store. Now I will leave in the card somewhere how to do product, um, how to find winning products. I mentioned this before in the video, but that video it shows you how to do it as well. So let's move on. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you've got a marketing plan positioned perfectly guys now this is so important you need to make sure that you've got your um, positioning at the best you can now the first thing that you want to do is you want to look for instagram influencers within your niche so for example if you're doing the fitness niche you want to look for influencers in that niche so you can use them to get your store going now i made a video yesterday on how to find instagram influencers that will make you profits every single time and you'll get responses from so i'll leave it in the card section again somewhere so you can watch that video it's a great video guys it will help you so much the next one is you want to look for facebook ads within that industry you're running so whatever stores so look for your competition look for competition in that dropship and so like I get like I said like I said guys with Shopify IP address the stores that you find do some research on them look for their ads they've been using which is what I've stated here so get ad examples now from Shopify IP address you can look for their Facebook page sorry and then look at their info and ads and look at the ads they've been running for their store and take some take some ideas and templates from them the next thing is look for Google ad examples. So for example, not every single store or product you run will be best for, and this is important that you understand it, not every uh, product is good for Facebook ads. Only certain products are good for Facebook ads. Some uh, some products work best for Google ads. And I will leave in the card section somewhere again, um, um, why your ads don't perform well and in, and in that video I explain what ads you should be running for your stores. Now again you want to do some Facebook group research, you want to find Facebook groups within that niche you're looking at. Um, you want to look for Facebook groups sorry, in your niche that you can network in, you can build authority in, you can promote your products in but obviously that comes at bringing value in those groups first before you ask for anything in return but like i said i will leave in the description below how to get free traffic to your store so you can get sales and in that video 
um, which I made, I talk about Facebook groups and how to promote your products in Facebook groups without getting banned or seen. Now, Reddit groups, now Reddit chats or Reddit groups is really important. Now, for niche stores, this is so important. You can drive so much traffic to your stores. So many students have used Reddit that I've taught and they've got so much success from them. Reddit's not easy and I will be making a separate video on how to use Reddit. YouTube videos, so... When you start a new store, you're going to want to make a YouTube channel and you're going to want to post YouTube videos on your YouTube channel. Now, again, it's going to take, you will have to come out of your comfort zone to do this, but it's so important, guys, that you really do um, use this because at the end of the day, you can, you can rank your videos so high in the YouTube search engine and get 10,000 views every single month if you rank for it. And again, certain keywords you search for YouTube videos rank really high in the Google search engine as well. So it's important that you use YouTube videos for your niche. And also you can use YouTube influencers for your niche. So guys, that is it for what I've covered today. That should get you to what you, where you need to be with your niche. Like I said, there's so much value that I've given you today that will help you with your niche or niche niche store. So like I said, guys, if you're taking value from this video, make sure that you smash the like button you leave me a comment and you share this with people that you know that will take complete value from it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.